in the mosaic of life's experiences, where shadows and light dance together, there's a profound power nestled within two simple words. Thank you. These words, when offered sincerely to God, can transform our hearts, minds, and circumstances in ways beyond our imagination. Imagine standing at the threshold of infinite possibilities where gratitude becomes the key that unlocks the door to God's boundless blessings. Now, if you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. The scriptures are replete with instances that underscore the importance of giving thanks to God. In the book of 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, we are reminded, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. This isn't merely an invitation to thank God in moments of abundance and joy, but a divine directive to maintain a posture of gratitude, even in the face of adversity. Such an attitude does not ignore the complexities and challenges of life, but chooses to acknowledge God's sovereignty and goodness above all. Consider the story of Paul and Silas in the book of Acts 16, verses 25 to 34. Imprisoned and shackled in what could only be described as dire circumstances, they chose to pray and sing hymns to God. Their response to their situation was not one of despair or questioning, but of profound gratitude and worship. The result, an earthquake that shook the foundations of the prison, freeing them and leading the jailer and his family to salvation. Their thanksgiving became a testimony, showcasing the power of God to bring freedom and transformation. Similarly, the account of Jesus giving thanks before feeding the 5,000, as narrated in the Gospel of John 6, verses 11 to 13, highlights the miraculous multiplication that follows gratitude. With just five barley loaves and two small fish, Jesus demonstrated that when we offer what we have with a grateful heart, He can turn our insufficiency into abundance. The act of giving thanks preceded the miracle, teaching us that gratitude is not a reaction to our circumstances, but a foundational posture that can alter the very fabric of our reality. Why then should we start with saying thank you God, because gratitude aligns our hearts with God's heart, opening our eyes to see His hand at work in all things. It shifts our focus from what we lack to the abundance we already possess in Him. When we say thank you, God, we declare our faith in His provision, protection, and promises. It's an acknowledgement that every good and perfect gift comes from above, from the Father of lights, as James 1 Verse 17 tells us, Gratitude is the melody that harmonizes our lives with the rhythm of God's grace. It's a transformative practice that not only enhances our spiritual well-being, but also has the power to improve our physical and emotional health. Science has begun to uncover what Scripture has always known. Gratitude can lead to greater happiness, resilience, and even strengthen relationships. Moreover, when we express our thanks to God, we cultivate a spirit of contentment. Philippians 4 verses 11 to 13 reveals Paul's secret to contentment in every situation. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. His contentment was rooted in his relationship with Christ, not in his circumstances. By starting our prayers with thanksgiving, we too can learn to be content in any and every situation, finding our strength in Christ. Thanksgiving is also a weapon in our spiritual arsenal. 
a tool for warfare that can break the chains of negativity, fear, and despair. It builds a bridge over which faith can walk, carrying us from trials to triumph. As we thank God for who He is and what He has done, we are reminded of His faithfulness in the past, which bolsters our faith for the future. Let us, therefore, be people who start each day, each prayer, and each moment with a heart full of gratitude. Let thank you. God be the refrain that echoes through the valleys and mountaintops of our lives. For in doing so, we not only honor God, but also open our lives to the infinite possibilities that gratitude unveils. My friends, the power of saying thank you, God, is not just in the utterance of these words, but in the posture of our hearts, a heart that recognizes God's sovereignty, celebrates His goodness, and trusts in His faithfulness. As we step into the practice of gratitude, may we find our lives enriched, our faith deepened, and our spirits lifted. May the powerful prayer that follows be one that springs from a well of thanksgiving. For it is when we start with gratitude that we truly begin to see the hand of God move in miraculous ways in our lives. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. You may also listen to this prayer daily as you build your faith and come in agreement. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, I come before you this morning with a heart overflowing with praise and thanksgiving for who you are. You are the creator of heaven and earth, the master of the universe, and the keeper of my soul. Your greatness is unsearchable, your power incomprehensible, and your love unfathomable. I thank you, Lord, for your constant presence in my life, for being my guide through the shadows and my joy in the light. Your faithfulness surrounds me each day, and for this I am eternally grateful. I thank you for your provision, for the daily bread, and for the protection you wrap around me and my loved ones. Lord, in the reflection of your holiness, I recognize my shortcomings. I ask for your forgiveness, for the times I have faltered and fallen short of your glory. In the same breath, I choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment that I may carry. I stand on your word that promises healing and restoration, and I rebuke in the name of Jesus any form of sickness, depression, or bondage trying to take hold of my life. I declare victory over every challenge and trial I face, knowing that through Christ I can do all things. Father, I pray against the attacks of the enemy in all their forms be it doubt, fear, discouragement, or division. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind these attempts to derail my faith and joy. I rebuke the spirits of anxiety, hopelessness, and confusion that seek to invade my mind and heart. I claim your peace that surpasses all understanding to guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Lord, extend your healing hand over me, my family, and over those praying with us and for us. I thank you for bringing restoration to our bodies, minds, and spirits. I ask for your divine protection over me and my family. Shield us from harm, watch over our coming and going, and keep us safe from the snares of the enemy. Lord, we thank you for also keeping us safe from all accidents and negative incidents. In your mercy, Lord, 
cover us with your precious blood, creating a barrier that no evil can penetrate. I pray for your blessings to flow in our lives, blessings of health, strength, and provision. May your favor rest upon us, opening doors that no man can shut. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement, standing on your promise that where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in our midst. We pray for each other, asking that you meet every need, heal every wound, and answer every heartfelt cry. Let your Holy Spirit move freely among us, guiding, comforting, and empowering us to face the day with courage and grace. For our loved ones, Lord, I pray that they too would experience the fullness of your love, the joy of your fellowship, and the abundance of your blessings. May your presence fill their lives, bringing peace, joy, and purpose. We stand together, claiming victory over every battle, declaring healing for the sick, provision for the needy, and restoration for the broken. In all things, we give thanks, knowing that you are working all things together for our good. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you. In the name of Jesus. You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel, Daily Jesus Prayers for more videos. That will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory, and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can join us and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.